Do you think there is a direct impact of solar flares on human being? Now, it's very interesting to understand. We human beings are impacted by solar flares if we plan to become an astronaut. That means if I am planning to be in space, then definitely I would be affected by solar flare, but not as a normal human being on Earth. Now, why is this different? The idea is pretty simple. The solar flares actually emit various kind of radiations which include the x-rays and the ultraviolet rays now these radiations when they pass through the atmosphere specifically in the d layer of the ionosphere they lead to heating of the upper atmosphere now this increase in the temperature would lead to disruptions in the upper atmosphere which could be actually threefold first is disruption of the gps the second is problem with aircraft communication and the third is the impact on power grids that we could feel besides this sometimes they can also cause auroras but all these features would affect the upper atmosphere or i could say the d and the e layer of the ionosphere also this expansion of the particles because of the heating the upper layer would heat and therefore the particles would expand now this expansion would increase the drag that would be caused on the satellites in the low earth orbit and the satellites in the low earth orbit would be affected and this could lead to orbital decay in long duration not in a short time but over a period of time the uh, the satellites could witness orbital decay so these are some of the major implications of solar flares seen on earth or the atmosphere of the earth now the next important question that we need to address here is that these solar flares as i mentioned might affect the astronauts by but you might wonder how would they affect it the idea is whenever the ionization is higher than normal what would happen the radio waves would get uh, completely degraded or completely absorbed which would lose their energy more frequently as compared to the uh, free electrons which are there in the atmosphere now when this is caused this would lead to damage to any human being who is there in the outer space without a magnetic shield the reason being the free electrons would interact and this interaction of free electron would lead to magnetic uh, field which could be generated and this magnetic field if you want to study could be understood through ground based magnetometers now this uh, phenomena is known as sfe or slow solar flare effect it is also known as magnetic crotch because it is responsible for the uh, uh, the energetic photons which could damage the human surface or the human body and therefore magnetic shielding of the astronauts become important under the nao uh, noaa classification uh, there are five phase or five associated layers or levels of solar flare these are classified from r1 to r5 and are associated with solar flare with m1 m2 x1 x10 and x20 which indicates minor blackout to extremely high radio blackouts and this actually as the radio blackouts increases it increases the electrical conductivity of the various layers which increases the electric flow ultimately leading to magnetic um, magnetic uh, movements and therefore shielding becomes important in case the blackouts are higher you require more shielding so this was a very important topic and many such interesting topics we'll be covering in the upcoming sessions stay tuned have a wonderful day ahead